Thank you so much for joining us for Amtrak Vacations Traveling the California Coast webinar. Uh, very excited to have you all here with us this morning. My name is Colleen. I'm the Operations Manager here at Amtrak Vacations. And I uh, just wanted to welcome everybody and thank you so much for taking this time out of your day uh, to listen in with us and watch along. I'd love to introduce to you now Jim Marini, who is our Director of Sales. Uh, he's very excited to tell you a little bit more about our trip. Okay, thanks so much, Colleen. Well, first of all, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are located, anywhere here in the United States or all over the world. Uh, for those of you that are joining us, once again, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time out of your day to uh, join Colleen and myself. Hopefully, uh, you will enjoy today's presentation. And as always, we'll try to keep it short and sweet and make it fun and exciting. So let me first and foremost uh, officially again introduce myself. My name is Jim Marini, proudly the Director of Sales for Amtrak Vacations. I did want to mention, as always, for those of you that are kind enough to take time to attend our presentations, we want to announce that we will be giving a $50 gift certificate at the end of today's presentation. So stay tuned and see if you are the winner. Also, I want to encourage each and every one of you to book any of these exciting packages that Colleen and I are going to go over here today to give us a call or certainly contact your local travel agent. Our number is 1-800-AMTRAC2, otherwise 1-800-268-7252, or again, certainly you can book any of these exciting packages through our local, your local travel agents as well. So what I wanted to do here is just kind of give all of you a little overview on Amtrak Vacations before we move into some of the exciting packages along the California coast. And hopefully many of you on the call today have had the opportunity to travel on Amtrak. It truly is such a wonderful experience. And to be able to not only experience traveling on rail here in the United States on Amtrak, but also have all your hotels, your meals, your sightseeing, so much of those components all taken care of. That's where Amtrak Vacations comes in. I did want to encourage all of you also, as I go through today's presentation, please feel free to type away any questions that you may have as I go through and Colleen goes through today's presentation. And we will do our very best to try to answer as many as we can at the end of the presentation today. Okay, so again, feel free to type those away. So why Amtrak Vacations? You know, I always like to start out with this particular picture. A few years ago, we actually took a little survey of, of many of our clients worldwide that have experienced our, our trips. And really, one of the most popular reasons is it is a bucket list experience. And hopefully, for some of you on the call here today, it's something you've thought about. And that, of course, is traveling the California coast on Amtrak, having all your hotels, meals, sightseeing, so many of those great uh, activities taken care of for you. So it is a bucket list experience. It is less hassle when you travel through Amtrak Vacations. Everything now is electronic, so e-ticketing, e-documents, either we or your local travel agent can take care of that for you. Satisfy your hunger. I always say save your appetite, even on the train, everyone. We do have dining carts on board as well as, of course, dining areas. And Colleen will give you a little more information on that in just a little bit. Any of our overnight trains, too, depending on where you're starting and or ending, there's also private chefs on board. Food is fresh, made to order. So you will eat well, uh, certainly on any of the overnight uh, trains, as well as even some of the shorter trains as well. Travel green, that's always a big plus. City to city service, I love mentioning this. And again, Colleen can kind of give you a little more um, insight on the routings that we take along the California coast. But we pride ourselves on really just arriving and departing into the heart of all the major cities uh, throughout the United States. Flexibility, we have multiple departures daily throughout the country, uh, as well as certainly in California, we have um, some good options for you. Room to roam, yes, we want you to get up, walk around, stretch your legs, go to the dining room, go to the observation area, as well as know that more baggage is allowed. So where do we go, everyone? You know, again, today's focus is going to be in particular on the California coast. However, I always love sharing this with everyone at the beginning of our presentations. Amtrak actually travels to 46 out of the 48 continuous states within the United States, everyone. Imagine that. The only two states that Amtrak does not actually physically go through 
are the states of Wyoming and South Dakota. Now, if you're looking at the map here, everyone, all the red lines is actually where Amtrak travels through. If you look at the green lines in the United States, to places such as Yellowstone National Park or Las Vegas, as an example, those are Amtrak's bus throughway service, so their motor coach service, which also is included in packages to those particular areas, again, where the train might not physically go through. This past year, Amtrak had over 31 million people that traveled on the train. Again, over 31 million people traveled on Amtrak. And one of the best highlights, I can never say enough about it, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is the cuisine and, and the food on the train itself. So just a reminder, any of you that travel overnight on Amtrak through Amtrak vacations, if you book into a roomette or bedroom, which would be your sleeper accommodations, all your meals on the train are included. Again, with a private chef, as well as a waiter or waitress there available to help each and every one of you with all the great menu options. So today's focus is going to be primarily on our independent rail journeys. And as I mentioned earlier, today in particular, it is featuring the California coast. Independent rail journeys basically have daily departures, more of a leisurely way to travel. You also have a choice of either moderate or deluxe hotels. It's really a wonderful option. And the most important thing, and I'll mention this before I turn it back over to Colleen, is you also have lots of flexibility to be able to customize any of these packages. So we're going to feature some of our best-selling packages today. However, just know that you can make any of these packages as long or as short as you would like, as inexpensive as you would like, depending on how many days you're looking at. Okay, So that's going to be the feature of today. We do also offer escorted rail journeys around the country. So if you are the type of traveler who likes to have a tour manager with you from the time you start until the time you end. You like to have most of your meals included. Think of your traditional motor coach bus tours. It's a similar concept except, of course, it's on Amtrak. We do also have three and four day getaways around the United States, in particular in California, as well as rail and sail packages and family adventures. Now, before I turn it over to Colleen to kind of take each and every one of you through one of our most popular packages, which is our California Coast. Let me just mention to everybody that we are offering a special early booking discount. And it actually is on this particular California Coast, but any of our independent journeys, we're offering $150 off per couple, everyone. So $75 per person for any of you that book any of those packages before the end of this month to travel anytime this year up until the end of March in 2016. So again, all that would be due is a small deposit and you'll be able to take advantage of our early booking discount. Again, everyone, give us a call. Our agents are here waiting for each and every one of you, your friends, your family. That number again is 1-800-AMTRAK2, otherwise known as 1-800-268-7252. Or again, feel free to book any of these packages through your local travel agent, and these early booking discounts will apply whichever way you decide to book. So with that in mind, everyone, I'm going to take a minute and uh, we're going to have Colleen come back and join us because she actually just traveled recently on this California coast trip. So without further ado, here is Colleen. Hey, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to go through with you our independent rail journey, the California coast trip. Uh, which you can see in our brochure or online. I actually, as Jim mentioned, just came back from this tour myself, and I have to tell you, it is absolutely one of my new favorite, favorite options that we offer here. Um, fantastic tour starting out in San Francisco, California. Uh, this tour includes eight nights hotel accommodations, uh, sightseeing tours in San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, uh, as well as Paso Robles, and many more options. So as Jim mentioned, these tours are customizable, uh, so you could, we have so many different options, so many different sightseeing things that you folks can do, just depending on what interests you. Um, I'll cover a couple of the things I did on my trip, but just know that there are so many options for you guys when you're looking at tours like these. Uh, so here's a lovely view here. Now the tour starts out with two nights there in San Francisco. 
Uh, San Francisco, as you folks probably know, is an amazing city. There is so much to see and do there. And our tour comes with the pass on the double-decker bus, uh, which is going to take you all over the city. Uh, it's going to take you anywhere you want to go, Chinatown, North Beach, Union Square, Civic Center, uh, Fisherman's Wharf, um, just so many places that you can travel to in the city and so many different attractions that you can see. Um, some of the other great things that you can add on from San Francisco, uh, you can go out to the Muir Woods, uh, the giant redwoods out there. Uh, you can take a tour out to Napa, uh, Napa Valley, Sonoma County, um, for some wine tasting. Uh, we also have even really, you know, extensive day tours down to Yosemite or just some day tours around the city itself. Um, really fun, really fantastic. All of our hotel accommodations, just so you guys know, are very centrally located. We plan them out for you guys in advance to be in the center of the city, right where you want to be. So for example, I stayed down at Fisherman's Wharf, which is a great fun and extremely convenient location for the hop on hop off buses and any other tours that you folks might want to take. Um, but you could also stay in some more sort of deluxe accommodations, like we offer the Western St. Francis, which is downtown, an absolutely stunning hotel. So we have many different options to fit what you folks might be looking for or to fit different budgets. Uh, day two, of course, in San Francisco. So day one and two in San Francisco, you're at your leisure. Uh, we also have included for you as well as your hop on, hop off, which you can use for the entire time you're there. A dinner included at Fisherman's Wharf, because if you're in San Francisco, you've got to try the seafood at Pier 39. It is fantastic. Here actually is a view from the Coast Starlight train. Uh, so this is a view taken actually right from my window on the train as we went by the scenery. So you can see this train does travel right along the coast for a lot of its route, uh, and you just see some absolutely spectacular images. Uh, when you leave San Francisco, you're going to take the train down to Paso Robles. Um, you're going to get on the train in the morning, so you folks will have the opportunity to get some breakfast on board the train, which I thought was fantastic. I have to tell you, I was expecting dinner and lunch to be good, but breakfast blew me away. Um, you can see I've got a little picture there. You have coffee, refillable coffee in the dining car. Oh, here's my breakfast. Perfect. Um, you have a lot of different options on Namecheck. Everything's prepared for you fresh, which is fantastic. So I could have chosen an omelet. I could have chosen a breakfast sandwich. I have sort of the um, continental breakfast here, some grapefruit salad, scone, a um, lot of different options just depending on what you folks are looking for. Um, everything's prepared fresh, so if you did have any sort of dietary restrictions, you can absolutely ask your waiter or waitress, uh, your server aboard Amtrak, you know, what would be a good option for you uh, if you're vegetarian or have, you know, different food allergies. Quite a few different options for you when you're traveling on board Amtrak trains. Um, there's coach seating, which I always compare to business class in an airline. Truthfully, guys, it is very comfortable. Um, reclining seats, they go back about 45 degrees. You've got a little footrest. Um, you know, you have your, your attendant who comes by. You've got a call bell um, if you need anything on board the train there. Uh, also, Amtrak does offer business class on some of the shorter distance trains. So the Pacific Surfliner, which you take later in the journey, um, very comfortable seating there. Uh, you know, more leg room. Um, you know, just very nice accommodations there. Oh, here's another picture I took. You can see I'm digging it right out the window there. Um, so just some really, really beautiful scenery, guys, as you go down the coast. Uh, the other thing you have an option to do on this trip is to take a sleeper cabin. Um, so they have roomette cabins and also bedroom cabins aboard the train. Now, even if you're just traveling during the day, I definitely recommend looking into that upgrade because if you do take one of the sleeper accommodations, all of your meals on board the train are included for you. So that great breakfast you just saw, also lunch and dinner would be included for you while you're on board the train. Uh, it's also great, guys, just because you have your own little private cabin. Um, so you can relax, you know, you can just settle in and really enjoy your trip. Uh, every sleeper cabin comes with a great big picture window so you can really see some of that scenery. And when you're on the Coast Starlight, uh, for those folks who do have a roomette or a bedroom, there is the Pacific Parlor Car, which is reserved especially for you guys um, with lounge seating. Uh, you can actually eat your meals in there. If you just saw my picture of my breakfast, uh, that was in the Pacific Parlor Car. I had breakfast. Um, 
And so it's a really, really great feature um, included with your upgrade to the roomette or the bedroom on that CoStar light train if you folks were interested. Uh, here's another picture of the dining car. Uh, I will say, as you go down towards Los Angeles, um, we're jumping ahead a little bit, but as you go down towards Los Angeles, uh, if you guys can schedule your dinner at sunset, it was unbelievable watching the sunset over the waves, eating my dinner, on board the train, on my way to Los Angeles. Uh, it was phenomenal. When you arrive uh, into Paso Robles, it's an extremely cute town. I will just tell everyone. I really enjoyed it. Um, train station is right there, so very close to your accommodations. Um, and while you're in Paso Robles, you have quite a few different options. So now the tour itself comes with a wine tour, a tour of the famous winery in the region. Uh, if you're like me and you enjoy a good bottle of wine, it's fantastic. Uh, but maybe if you're traveling with the kids or um, you were looking for a different sort of option, we do have a phenomenal tour as well after Hearst Castle, uh, which is in San Simeon, very close by. Uh, really beautiful, amazing grounds, amazing uh, mansion scenery there. And you also stop off. Uh, to see the elephant seal rookery, which is pretty neat as well. On day five, you travel from Paso Robles to Los Angeles. Uh, again, you're going to get back on that Coast Starlight train uh, and head down towards Los Angeles. Uh, now, if you folks do have the roomette or bedroom on board the train and um, you're on this uh, portion of the trip here, they do have a wine tasting in the parlor car for those folks in the, the sleeper class uh, accommodations, which was a really nice highlight of the trip as well. Here we have uh, Los Angeles, and uh, great fun for you guys there as well. In Los Angeles, we do include the hop-on, hop-off trolley, and I can't say enough about those. Those take you all over the city, super convenient transportation, um, and they hit every site that you want to see. You know, the Hollywood sign, Rodeo Drive, um, you folks can go and see it all there. Then you head down from Los Angeles to San Diego. And this particular train is really nice, too. This is actually the Pacific Surfliner train. It's just a couple hours ride, so you can schedule it in the morning or the afternoon, whatever your preference. Um, and you see some really gorgeous scenery on this ride as well. This also hugs the coast. Uh, when I was actually at the beach, I was watching the train go by. Um, <laughs> felt very much like a work day, I can tell you. Uh, and then you go down. Oops, here's my lunch on board the train. You can also get lunch in the cafe car as well as in the dining car if you folks were traveling in coach seating. Uh, the cafe has some really excellent sandwiches, salads, different things like that during lunch, you know, muffins, breakfast, food at breakfast time as well. Uh, you can also purchase an adult beverage if you like on board the train, or they have water, soda, coffee, tea, everything like that. San Diego is one of my favorite spots in Southern California. There is so much to see and do there. Of course, you could add on a trip to the zoo and see my friends the pandas here. Uh, of course, we have the harbor tour included for you in San Diego. And I always say that you can't go to California without getting out on the water. Um, beautiful tour there of San Diego Harbor. Uh, and you can relax and enjoy dinner there at one of the very popular restaurants right on the waterfront. Um, so again, looking out at the boats go by while you eat dinner. Um, your tour does end here in San Diego, but like Jim said, these tours are customizable, so you could always take off from here um, and head out west, or you could extend your stay here. Anything you guys want to do, we can accommodate for you. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Jim to talk a little bit more about some of our exciting specials that we're offering at this time, and a little bit more about our California trips in general. Thank you very much, Colleen. I hope uh, I hope that was uh, enjoyable. I know it certainly was for me. And you know, even with my accent, which I do apologize if you haven't noticed, uh, I'm actually located in the East Coast of the United States. I actually used to live in Southern California and had the pleasure of traveling all throughout the beautiful state myself as well. Again, everybody can't say enough about it. We got some great specials. One in particular, again, is on our independent journeys, which is that California coast trip, as well as some of the trips that I'm going to highlight in just a minute. We're offering $150 off per couple, okay? So $75 off per person, as long as you book with a small deposit before the end of this month to travel any time this year up until the end of March of 2016. And I'm sure for many of you that have traveled to California or have dreamed about going to California, there really is not 
any particular time that's not a beautiful time to travel. The weather in California, I know I live there, is pretty much beautiful all year long. So it really doesn't matter when you travel there. It is beautiful all the time. So as Colleen mentioned, we just want to highlight a few other great packages to consider. And we do have lots of choices to everyone. So feel free to also go online um, after today's presentation, AmtrakVacations.com. So it's www. AmtrakVacations.com. You'll see a whole assortment of different packages that you can certainly choose from if there's other places in and around California you'd like to go. Now, a few in particular that I wanted to just highlight is California and the Golden West. So as you can see here, instead of going from San Francisco down to Los Angeles and then over into San Diego, we actually head out to Las Vegas on this particular package. So here's another great option to consider for those of you that would like to experience traveling, of course, along the California coast, but then end your trip in Las Vegas. We also have another great package that's called our West Coast Spectacular. Now, this one actually starts as far north as Seattle. However, we do travel overnight on the train from Seattle down to San Francisco. So you heard Colleen mention, again, we can't encourage you enough for you and your friends and family to consider uh, booking into at least a roomette or a bedroom. Uh, so again, not only do you have your own private accommodations, but you also have all your meals included on the train itself. And here's just a little map on the top right-hand corner of this particular picture, as you can see, overnight down to San Francisco. Now, on any of our independent journeys, one thing to mention, which is all the trips that we're highlighting here today, pricing is based in coach seating on any of the overnight trains. So to overnight to, uh, to upgrade to a roomette on any of our overnight trips or even the trip from San Francisco down to Los Angeles, we, we do offer the option to get a roomette or a bedroom. Uh, it's very minimal. You know, it's one thing that always impresses so many of our travelers worldwide is many times to upgrade from a coach seat to a roomette is sometimes as inexpensive as 100 to $200 per person total. And again, that's not only going to get you your own private accommodations, but it's also going to give you all your meals included on the train. We also have a Pacific Northwest trip, which is San Francisco, but it travels north up into Portland before ending in Seattle. Now, this is actually very popular, ironically, for a lot of our clients uh, and a lot of our travel agents and partners who have clients that also want to travel to Alaska. So why not combine a beautiful trip in California and the Northwest and even end the trip with the beautiful Alaska cruise? Again, we can do it all here. Your local travel agent can also help you make the arrangements. Give us a call. Again, everyone, that number is 1-800-268-7252 or certainly contact your local travel agent. Now, the last few packages I'll highlight real quick before um, – we uh, open it up in just a little bit for questions is we also have a Route 66 by rail. So for those of you that want to experience a little more of a cross-country journey from the Midwest out to California, then this might be a package you might want to consider. It's a little bit longer. And again, just a reminder, as Colleen mentioned and myself, any of these packages can be customized. So we can make them as long or as short as you would like. Now, a question that comes up a lot is, well, how do we get to and from the destination? 62% of our travelers that travel with Amtrak Vacations will actually book a round-trip air, a flight to and or from the starting and ending destination. So you actually have the option, everyone, to fly into the starting city, go on the train trip all along the California coast, if that's the one you're interested in, and then at the end of the trip, fly home. Or you could train out to the first point of the starting destination and then at the end of the trip fly home or vice versa so it's whatever works best for you and again either Amtrak Vacations or your local travel agent can help you with those arrangements we do also have a rails to the canyon how great is this Los Angeles out to the Grand Canyon so again many different variations some of you might even want to do a California coast trip from San Francisco down to Los Angeles and then maybe join this trip at the end. And instead of heading to San Diego, you leave right from Los Angeles, you have an overnight trip out to Williams before experiencing the Grand Canyon. They estimate over 5 million people visit 
the Grand Canyon every year. And speaking of national parks too, Colleen mentioned it a little bit earlier, which is offered as an optional day trip when you're in San Francisco on our San Francisco California coast trip, but we also have some shorter getaway trips. So some of you might want to just go and experience Yosemite National Park. So we have a, a three-day, two-night getaway that you can take advantage of. We also have some three-day, two-night San Francisco getaways, San Diego getaways. So again, you can make these trips as long or as short as you would like. And as I mentioned at the beginning of today's presentation, Amtrak travels to 46 out of the 48 continuous states in the United States, and last year over 31 million people traveled on Amtrak. So why Amtrak vacations, everybody? Again, just concluding the presentation, it is a bucket list experience. Hopefully many of you on the call today, it's something you've been dreaming about or thinking about for a long time. Now is your chance to, to do it, everyone. Less hassle, satisfy your hunger, as Colleen showed you with some of her own pictures. The food, the cuisine on the train is it's wonderful. Travel green, city-to-city -city service, flexibility, again, multiple departures, room to roam, and of course, more baggage. And depending on which type of vacation you'd like to go on, we have five different options. Again, today's focus is in particular on our most popular option, which is our independent rail journeys, but we do also have other options available for you. Again, I can't say enough about considering to upgrade to a roomette or bedroom on any of uh, the overnight trains, as well as trains, for instance, from San Francisco down to Los Angeles, where typically we leave in the morning, we arrive in the evening, but we still offer that opportunity for each of you and family to upgrade. Okay, again, if you book before the end of this month, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay. So, as promised, we're going to announce the winner of today's $50 gift certificate, and we're all
Hey, Mike, fantastic question. So as you may know, uh, since you folks are both over 65, you do qualify for Amtrak's uh, senior discount, which is great for you guys. As far as your guest reward points go, uh, you can certainly, uh, we can earn you points on your trip, so you can give our agents their guest rewards number when you make your reservation, and you'll earn points uh, on this trip here. Great. Thanks, Colleen. Okay, next question from Donald. Um, can you explain how handicap accessibility works on the train? So I'm going to turn it back over to Colleen, and uh, we'll explain that. Thank you so much, Donald. So Amtrak has some great options for folks uh, who are mobility impaired or may need handicapped accommodations on board the train. Uh, for just a shorter day trip, they do have handicapped accessible seating. Uh, they do have space for wheelchairs as well as transfer seats if you wanted to get out of the wheelchair and sit in the seat. Um, as well, they do have handicapped accessible sleepers. So if you're going to be traveling overnight or for a long day, uh, they do have handicapped accessible sleepers as well. Uh, and if you needed them, you could have your meals brought to your seat. You know, they're very accommodating. We have red cap service as well, so for baggage assistance in and around the stations, different things like that. And I see we've got another question here from Christine. Hi, Christine, uh, who asks, what are the differences between Superliner, Viewliner, and bedroom options? Uh, for these sleeper accommodations. So the Viewliner trains actually run primarily from Chicago East, anywhere on the East Coast. They're just a little bit of different equipment. Those trains are single level trains. Uh, Superliner runs from Chicago West. So all of these California trains we've been looking at are Superliner equipment. That means they're double decker trains. Uh, so the remettes on both trains are very similar. They're going to be two chairs which face each other. Uh, like I said, big picture window. In the evening, they fold down into bunk beds. And then the bedroom accommodations are sort of the upgrade. They're a little bit larger rooms, uh, more like a love seat style seating with a freestanding chair. Again, you've got your big uh, picture window. In the evening, those do fold down into bunk beds for sleeping as well. And uh, see, we've got a great question here from Denise, who wants to know what the cost per person is for the first trip we covered, which would be my California coast trip here, uh, from San Francisco down to San Diego. And she also asks if it takes eight days. Uh, so Denise, great question. The trip as we have it designed is an eight, night, nine day trip, uh, starting in San Francisco and ending in San Diego, but certainly we could customize something for you. Uh, as far as the per person cost, it all depends on when you travel, um, you know, based on the season and what type of accommodations you'd like, but they start as low as $17.49 per person. Um, so they can be very affordable trips here. Thank you, Colleen. Okay, great questions to everyone. I see a lot more coming in as we're going. So again, we're going to do our very best to try to get to as many as we can before the uh, end of today's presentation. Uh, next question is from Linda. Can we leave from Philadelphia to take any of these trips? Here's the exciting part again. Just a reminder, everyone, you can start and or end in any of the train stations that Amtrak travels through throughout the United States. Again, just a reminder, the only two states Amtrak does not physically go through are the states of South Dakota and Wyoming. So um, again, you also have the option to also fly round trip if you choose, and certainly you can book those flights or have your local travel agent uh, make those arrangements for you. You might want to train one direction or fly home uh, at the end as well. Okay, so just, just a little something to keep in mind. Uh, next from Dave, how soon do we need to book any of these packages in order to get the savings? So again, just a reminder everyone, before the end of this month, all that's due is a small deposit of anywhere from $100 to $250 per person, okay, depending on the length of your trip, and that will allow you to receive the $150 discount per couple uh, to keep in mind, okay, and that's to travel anytime this year up until the end of 2000, uh, March of 2016, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, next question from Lee. Can one select accommodation seats um, that are on the Pacific Ocean side on the Coast Starlight when reserving? I'm going to pass this over to Colleen, and she can be able to explain that a little better. Great question, Lee, and something I do frequently get asked. Uh, for folks who are traveling in coach accommodations, it's actually great news for you guys. It's first come, first serve when you board the train. Uh, so we always recommend you to show up to the station a little bit early and make sure you're one of the first people on the train, and then you can select your own seat. So you can make sure uh, that you're sitting on the coast side, as we say, um, for those folks taking the sleeper accommodations on board the train. 
excuse me, on board the train. It just depends on how they set up that train today. Unfortunately, there's no way to pre-book um, the coast side because just depending on how Amtrak puts their trains together, it may change from day to day. Um, but certainly that's a request you could make and we can note it in your reservation. Alrighty, so uh, we have another great question from Sunny who asks, who says that um, they'd like to take this package, but they're located in Ohio. How could they connect with this trip or would it be the Route 66? Uh, so great question again. Uh, you could definitely take our Route 66 uh, trip over to California and then from there connect up with one of our California coast trips. Similarly, you could just take the train out there from Ohio out to San Francisco to start the trip, or uh, you could definitely fly. You could fly out to San Francisco and then fly home from San Diego at the end. Uh, another question from Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Um, my mom smokes. Is there any accommodations for smokers? Uh, again, great question. So there is no smoking on board the Amtrak trains at this time. Um, however, they will announce before every long stop uh, when you can get off the train and stretch your legs a little bit, um, you know, certainly you could take that time and um, smoke as well. So they do announce before every long stop when they're going to be making a stop where folks can get out and stretch their legs for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Next question is from Vernon. Vernon asks, for the West Coast Spectacular, how long is it and are there any overnight accommodations? Uh, great question again, Vernon. So the West Coast Spectacular, as we have it designed, is a nine night, 10 day package starts out there in Seattle, and then you do take the train overnight to San Francisco, so you would get to experience that overnight ride, uh, sleep in your little cabin, everything like that. Okay, thank you, Colleen. Um, I have another question from Stephen. What type of payment do you accept? So um, any forms of the major credit cards, so Visa, MasterCard, American Express, uh, and certainly, again, you can book those either with Amtrak vacations or your local travel agent as well. These are great questions, everyone. I hope this is very helpful uh, for everyone as well. So definitely want to um, uh, mention that. Okay, next question from Richard. We have already purchased our tickets from Seattle to San Diego uh, for the month of August round trip. Since we already have this set, is the $150 reduction available? Great question, Richard. Uh, I'm going to pass this over to Colleen, and she can explain that a little better. Hi, Richard. So uh, as Jim mentioned, the $150 discount is available for folks who are booking one of our independent journeys, uh, so like the California Coast Trip with the accommodations and the tours and the rail travel in between the cities. Um, unfortunately, not available just for the rail travel, but any of these great trips, if you were interested in taking one of our independent journeys, definitely give us a call and we'll see what we can do for you to um, modify your reservation. And Denise now asks, uh, to qualify for the discount, do you have to know the dates you want to travel before May 31st, or uh, can you do open travel dates as long as you travel by March 2016? Uh, so good question, Denise. Now, for the discount, we do have to book your package for, you know, a specific set of dates. Um, but again, you can always, you know, book your trip, make a change later on down the road, uh, whatever works better for you. Definitely give us a call, and our agents will be happy to work with you there. Okay, everybody. We still have a lot more questions, but um, the webinar is going to expire in just a few seconds over here. So I want to first and foremost thank Colleen for uh, her wonderful overview on her California coast trip. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, also, again, want to congratulate Sharon on winning her $50 gift certificate. And more importantly, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time today to join Colleen and myself as we traveled throughout the California coast. We hope to see you on board, everyone. We got some great early booking discounts. So again, our agents are here waiting to help you with any of these exciting reservations. Give us a call or contact your local travel agent. Again, our number is 1-800-AMTRAC2, otherwise 1-800-268-7252, or you can book any of these exciting trips through your local travel agent as well. Thank you all. Again, so much for your time, each and every one of you. Have a great rest of the day and a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you on board soon with the Amtrak Vacations. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.